This is the part 3 of the PMDG 737 FMC tutorials where I'm gonna discuss in detail the root page. In addition, I'm gonna give you a few tips and tricks to make it more fun, but make sure to stick around till the end of this uh, video so you don't miss anything. And before I get started, please uh, show your support to this channel by uh, subscribing, liking and sharing. And as a reminder, this channel is all about flying with simulators. In the previous videos, I showed you how to complete uh, both the IDEN page and position initialization page with the IRS uh, alignment procedure. Today, I'm gonna cover the root page. Since I've already put uh, my departure airport identifier in pause init page here below reference airport header, FMC will copy that automatically to my scratch pad as I select the root page, as you can see here. Now I can put this uh, on the origin line select to initiate the root page. To complete this uh, first page, uh, let me first show you the items I'm gonna use uh, to do so. As usual, I'm gonna use uh, my operational flight plan generated by SimBrief. If I open this in the first page, here I got my departure and destination airport informations from CYQM to CYUL and my ATC call sign is FSS777. I've already put my origin airport here CYQM. Now I'm gonna put the destination airport CYUL and put it here in the destination boxes. Moving to flight number line select, I'm gonna put my ATC call sign and if you remember it was FSS777. My departure runway is 24, I put it here in the runway line select. Now to create my flight plan I can either do that manually as I'm gonna show you uh, now or automatically by using company root line select as you can see here which I'm gonna show you later. Going back to my document and looking for my routing in the page 2. Here is my routing so I'm gonna copy this exactly as it is to my FMC root page. First I'll select uh, next page to take me to second page where VIA2 format is featured. Let's uh, start with the first leg, which is from CYQM, runway 24, direct to YQM. Now, normally uh, we start with VIA line select, where we put first the VIA identifier, then we put the Y point. But in this case, for direct, we don't need to put direct in VIA line select, since the FMC will put it automatically for us. I'm gonna put YQM in two line select, and you can see via direct is set automatically by the FMC. After YQM, I got uh, the airway Q951. I put it here in the via line select to eat packs. Now, when you see waypoint is followed by an airway, we can simply enter the airway here and the FMC will figure out the, the airways intersection waypoint. For instance, uh, you can see if I put Q864 airway in a VIA line select here, you can see that the FMC will put it packs here in uh, waypoint boxes for the previous uh, segment. Then VIA Q864 to BMEC. Then direct to Mazdu. After Mazdu, I got here Ambri 1 standard arrival, so it's the appropriate time to go to departure arrival page. Then I select departure for CYQM. The runway 24 is being selected already during the route initialization. And for the standard instrument departure, I select CYQM 5. Now I select index to go back to departure arrival index page. I select arrival for my destination airport CYUL. From my stars list, I look for Ambri 1, which is my standard arrival for today. 
Ombre 1, here it is. And since my expected landing runway is 2, 4, right, I'll select Ombre 1, 2, 4, right. It gives me a list of uh, transition waypoints. I'll select Mazdu. Then from the approaches list, I'll select ILS 2, 4, right. At this point, uh, my route uh, is being built. I can now review my flight plan to ensure it complies with my operational flight plan routing. After a satisfactory check, I can activate then execute to make my flight plan active. And you can see active route appears on the top of the route page to confirm that my flight plan is active. Now after the route activation, if I go back to the first page, you can see here in this area below the dashed line a few prompt items came into view and if you remember when i started the route initialization in this page this area or section was blank first i got save prompt which i'm gonna use to save my flight plan for future uses then execute to confirm the action and you can see CYQM, CYUL is edited in the company root line select in a origin destination format to confirm that my flight plan is being stored. Now to recall this from the company root database, there is a different format which I'm gonna show you later. Now to complete the root setup, I need to add the alternate destination airport information, which is mentioned in the first page of the operational flight plan. As you can see here, CYOW. I'm gonna put this here in the alternate line select. And this is pretty much the steps we follow for the route setup. So far, I showed you how to build a flight plan or how to complete route pages manually. Let me now show you the two methods you can use for a quick route setup. The first method is using the FMC stored route. And the second method is using the SIM brief downloader. Let me start with the first one. Now, if you want to fly the same route which has been saved in a previous flight, and if you remember, I showed you already earlier in this video how to save a route using the save prompt. When we save a route from a given origin to a given destination for the first time, FMC will give a company route in an origin destination format with a sequence number starting from 001. You can see here my uh, route page 2 is empty, which means I didn't enter a flight plan yet. Now, to enter a flight plan automatically using a saved route or a saved flight plan, in the first page, I need to put my company root name, which is for instance CYQM CYUL001, here in the company root line select. Now, if I go to the second root page, you can see here my flight plan is being built automatically by the FMC company root function. Now, I'm gonna show you the second method using the SimBrief downloader. First, you need to download and install the SimBrief downloader, which you can find in the SimBrief website dispatch page. Then click on download FMS icon. Then finally, click on download to download the SimBrief downloader. Then install it. Once you have installed the SimBrief downloader, now you can use this application to store any flight plan that you have created with SimBrief dispatch to your FMS flight plan. Let me show you how to do that. Once you have created your flight plan with the SimBrief, open the SimBrief downloader. Then you'll get this window opened. Now, for instance, I'm looking for the PMDG 737 NGs. So I'm gonna scroll down here is PMDG flight plan. Here I'm looking specifically for NGs. Here it is. Now I'm gonna click on the download icon here. 
now i got this uh, small window opened it says that one file has been saved and it shows the flight path which is correct and the most important thing here is to remember the name of the route we have stored on our fms for instance it's cyqm cyul now i can close the application and go back to my fms to show you how to complete the route page using the company route which has been stored by the sim brief downloader you can see here my route page is empty since i'm not gonna build my flight plan manually instead i'm gonna use the sim brief route which has been stored on my fms earlier i go to the route page one here on the company route i'm gonna put if you remember the name of my route which is cyqm cyul here in the dashed line select and finally you can see my route is being set automatically by the company route function and this is pretty much all about the uh, route uh, tutorial for today so thank you for watching and see you in the next video